Welcome to Yeshiva Dav, Shir Sponsor, Lui Nishma, Sam Yaakov Sholem, and Le'am Bas Yitzchok. We are starting in that, we're, that we're holding in, in Dav Kuf, Kuf Chavov, and we're going to be starting in Dav Kuf Chavov, and we're in the bottom. You know, we'll go from the, uh, a few lines before the end of the, of the Dav, where we go and basically summarize what we learned till now. Oma Papa, Hilchus, what's that look? Ain't about noitel beroi kivimusa. A husband does not take something from the wife. If he did not actually get it from the wife, it's only Roy to get, he doesn't take it. Only if the wife actually inherits. If the wife did not have it yet, and the wife died, and then the husband wants to inherit what she's going to get from her father, he doesn't do that. Similarly, Osabchar doesn't take Roy Kivimusa. And Abhor doesn't take an alvo, that's the, the, the ending of the previous suya. He doesn't take double in a e, milve, halvo, which is not here here. Bait Shigovu Karka, Bait Shigovu Mois. As we saw in the previous daf, it's a machloikis. Is Govu Karka, Govu Mois. Neither of them is not considered to be in the hands of the lender. And the Abhor doesn't take double. And it says, Come on, that's cool, Chabon, Dava, Dab. What does that mean? So the Rishbam says over here, Chor owes the father. What happens there? Palki. What does it mean? Look to Rishbam. Chelik b'chor yichliku b'neim. And it's split between them. Iu me'akev palgo v'noisen lochi palgo. He keeps half for himself. And he gives half to his brother. It's one of the Mosophic. Why? Because the father the, the wants to give his father the loan. And he gives it to his father. So what happens over here? If, if the loan of a Bukhar belongs to the father. So then he takes double. He has one brother. The case of the Gemara usually, the classic case of the Gemara, talking about a Chor that does, that he has one brother. So if I have, he, he owes a hundred dollars. And he has one brother. If it really went to the father, he would get sixty-six dollars. And the brother would get thirty-three dollars. Right? Now, Halva is not considered to be in his father's house. So if I look at a regular Halva, the Halva is not in the hands of the father. So they, they're going to split it equally. He will take 50, and his brother will take 50. So he's going to lose the 16 extra. So what, what do we say? We say, Paul gave the will split. What are they going to split? They're going to split the difference. The difference. the difference. In other words, that 16 difference, he will take 8, and he will take 8, because we're not sure. On the pitch 9. On the pitch 9. Um, that's Paul the the, the Tosis points out here and says, one second, is it because moment and mutual sort of call you? We know Sumchus holds, but I don't know what to do, I split. Is that the case? No. We don't hold like Sumchus. But sometimes Chazal established, I don't know what to do, I split in half. That's the case over here. Okay. A pchor went and he did a mecha, is a mecha. Meaning, even though, if, the, what is the case? Is there a we learned if the Yisraelim go and they're mashbiach the nechosim, they make the nechosim worth more. The poor doesn't take double. Why not? Because it's shvach lo yishav chumim meile. It's shvach that the Yisraelim do. But if the poor said, "Whoa, whoa! Don't touch these nechosim. I do not want to touch them. Give it, give it to me." And the Yisraelim go, his brothers go, and they decide to to mashbiach. So then, then he deserves it. So it says, "Poor shemicha micha." Here's moicha. And they cut off the grapes. They had olives and they harvested. But if they did, they stepped in. No, why not? Says the Rishbam, because it's Koine Bishin. It goes back to Babakamo. Once they stepped in it, they're Koine. So you're right. They're not supposed to do it. But they're considered to be thieves. They're Koine. So even if they stepped it. So 
Me corn we in we ash the chamro. It used to be grapes. Now it's wine. It changes. Shinui. Kadoma avukor b'chamro li ten loy dume hezik anovov. Achinami no ten loy dume hezik anovov. Meaning, what it means is that they they get it, but they need to pay him. Don't, don't say they can't tell him. Oh, what do you want? It's a shvag that happened later. So listen, I went to the grapes. Now it's wine. You ruined the grapes. Give me the the hezek. It's yours because you're credit bishinu. But give me what you ruined. It's mine because I could have because I did a mechol. Hey, kid, what the avuka b'cham? Where exactly avuka b'cham spoke? Ah, don't have you don't much more bechor beposhet shiniach lem novim ubatz zeisu moskum. How much the same case? If they left their grapes, they harvested and the olives poured it up bishnayim. It takes double because he holds what? Even though they did a shvach, it still takes. It. I feel dorchu. Even if he stepped in it, even if they pressed it, dorchu mikari in be ash techamer. So he, 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 this argues what we said before, because we learned before the chachamim that shvach shish buchni seimim goes to the seim. But this goes like a mandama that says that any shvach which is shvach to me merely goes to the, to the brother, like Rebbe said in the previous day. Oh, whatever they stepped in it, if they pressed it. So he says also, How could that be me? Korean be asked to come, used to be grapes, that's wine. My book about come, we tell me, as a good one. You're it's not his, it's theirs. They're Korean machine, but they have to pay him for the Korean machine. It is his until they stepped in it. Okay. It's interesting, he says, Hezek and Abba. Does something happen to the wine? There's, there's, hmm? there's a shock. It's called Hezek and Abba. You're making something better. So no, but it's not his. The wine belongs to them. Right. So what did he lose? The another not the favorite. That's the second one. Oma Abasi b'chor shenoi tel chelik kepashut viter. The b'chor takes when they split the nechasim. He takes like a regular pashut. There's one more, right? Um. So, so the one is explained. My viter. What did he give up? I published with the rabbi on my viter by Yisrael. This field, he told his brother, you know what? I don't take double. I'll take half. So he gave up. Can't change his mind. Can't say that I don't want it anymore. Um, why? As the Rajban points out, I think Moses is bring it soon. It's considered to be a matana. It's a gift. And a gift, can't you can't go back on the gift. I mean, you could, well, you could say I don't want the gift. I'm not interested in the gift. I probably should do all my vite, but it's a sodi. I probably should do all my vite, but call and it's a cola. No. Once he showed in one side he doesn't want double, he's out. I think we'll explain. Why you trade the Rabbi with a Sade Kasove in Lil Bhur Kadu Khaluko? Before Khaluka has nothing. So when I give you one Sade, I gave over this Sade, I didn't give over the next Sade. Mad also that they are Khilik Lyak is Moikh what he has in his hand. Um Shred Rabbi Omar Vit called Khosi Kulom, he was about to all in the Khosim, why Kasova Yesh Lib Khor Kadu Khaluko. He does have Kadu Khaluko. All in the Khosim. Then the Khosim belonged to him already. Once he was Michael one, he's Michael all. What's the reason? Because he, he owns it. No, but the reason for Moses or Papa? Your yeah, Papa is the Rav or Papa is the Rav? Your yeah, Papa with the Olive or Papa with the Yud? Oh, no, your Papa is certainly. Your Papa is, once he showed that he was Michael, they both agree that once you're Michael, you're Michael whatever you have. The question is, what do you have? Why can't he be gifting one of the properties? It's not gifting. He's, he he's it's a gift. That's why he can't no, give it back. No, it's a gift from the father. The one. gift is not the poor gifting. The father gifts to the poor. And the poor refuses to get the gift, so the gift is, is, is annulled. It has a shame at all. The father gives the, the poor a gift. It's like it's like, it like when you give the, or give the shame and she was, I don't want. So there's no gift. So when the father gives the gift to the poor, the poor says, I don't want, there's no gift. But you can say, and he just gives him one of the properties. We don't say that. No, because it's a mechivo. To give him a ton, you have to do a kidney. He's not even a kidney. You just say, I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. So what is the mechilo? Refusal to get the maton. So refuse to get the maton, you give up everything. Give up what? You give up whatever is under your hand. What's under your hand? Your papa holds whatever is under your hand, only this field. The rest didn't come yet. We'll divide it. They don't become mine. Even, even the, the father didn't die. No, the father died. The father already died. So only after the father died. Rapapi says, no. Once the father died, all the Nechosi belonged to the Purim. You don't have to do a 
Chalukah. It's not to go in the vine. So once you get you say I'm not interested in one, the whole thing is over. When he has a din of matana, if it's a father that doesn't have a right. Right, it's not, it's not a real matana. It's only the Torah called him matana. Right, so it's not a right. The Torah gave it a lashon matana. They didn't say it clearly. This, it's a bichla from the story you can learn it. It was this bichla that went and sold his nechassim, nechassim of the, of the, um, uh, he was, he, 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 he sold nechassim that belonged to him and the belonged to the pashat. The Rishbam brings that someone to the say that he sold both chalakim that he had. He has a chalak as a chur. And he has a push. He says, I have a chat over here. He sold his chalokim plus the chalokim of his brother. Also, he asked him, So came the same, the kids of the brother, his nephews, and said, oh, they're gonna eat. I want to go, go to the field and I'm going to eat the, the fruits. So what do the, the buyers do? Machunu. They beat him up. Now you bought and chas him unrightfully. And unjustified way, why not? Because it's not your, it's not yours. It belongs to the the the, the bchor can't sell it. Elamim chedam mechisul. You also beat them up. You're doing double fault. Also, can make the rova. Amalu lo yisav lo yiklu. You didn't do anything. That says nothing. Something about afkuk cholam a base. Mar sova lo yisav lo yiklu um bepalgo. Meaning that the he 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 wasn't able to sell. His, the the chelik pasuk, not his. I mean, the Rosh says his brothers and his own also. But the chelik bechayro he could sell. Why? Because the minute the father dies, he owns it. Umar saw it cool. He didn't do anything because he has not have chelik either. Meaning what? What is the machlech of papi repopo? When a father dies, do you say automatically the son the bchor gets his chelik, even though the other chelokim. Right? Not, you don't say that. The other chaluk, you have to split. You have to do chaluk between the brothers. But here you say it, or no. Or we say that he doesn't have any any chayra until it's split. That's the mechikis. So our papa learns that he has nothing when the father died until you don't split it. The papa says, no, the chaluk b'chayra already has it. He owns it the minute the father dies. You don't know what it is. You have to shots up the fell. You have to be a variant. Oh, so the Kushil is Do you have to get the Breiro over here or not? How do you know who will be the Chalab Chayr? It's a good question. Um, right? So that's that, that's what you learned. It's a good child. Um, right. One thing just to mention here is the taste the argues with the and says. That whatever he sold in his own chilek is also what works. Not only chilek b'chayro, but also chilek pshitus. Only chilek pshitus achiv does not work. Right? Okay. So says the Gemara. Shochu misam. He sent from there from Eretz Yisrael. Bechor shemocha kodem chaluko lo yosa klum. He's not. He can't sell anything before you split it. Al mein lo bechor kodem chalukos. You see, bechor does not have anything before you split. There is, he does have his chelik b'chayr for chaluk. My zutra made the rich boy pollock. The other brothers went in and owned fruits. The field during the period yesterday doesn't have to pay. And the other doesn't split. How does the older brother have any access to it? He doesn't. In this case, doesn't have any access to it. How can he have any claims on the other brothers and would they have to pay him? Well, and, uh, be, be free, be, before, before we're talking about that there was a split. And they went into the Shvat. They just didn't know Mechol. What we start our daft today is they split and he says Mechol. But the previous daft talks about they did a split. They didn't know Mechol. They went in and, they, and they improved it. They improved the other person's property just like that. You know, the simpler, the simpler way is before they did they split it. It's still under the household. So then the, the, if there's a, if it's before the split, the older brother has no say anything. Right. But he went and did it. He sold. So he said, there's no say. But does he have a say in his prior part? That we'll eventually find out it's his prior part. Says the Gemara, Marzutro made the Rishba Pollock Bitsano, the Pilpale, Behadi Ochin, Mishove. Marzutro, he went and split in the Tsar, the Pilpale, which is like the, the basket full of 
of uh, pepper with his brothers equally, even though he was a clerk. Midday double. Also come in the This is the swar of a papi. This is the swar that we said before as a before chalukah. Once you gave up, it means you're not interested in the gift. Not interested in the gift. The gift is annulled. It's out. Zog the Mishnah. Person goes on and says, This son is a Pchor. My son is a Pchor. He doesn't take double. Ishploini. Uh, sorry. I mean, he's playing Pchor. I skipped. I went to the next question. He says, This son is my Pchor. I don't want to take double. Or, Ishploini. This is my son. I don't want to take any Yerusha. Goes against the term. What does it mean? Yes, we're going to learn that a father can change the split of the nechaz. He can say, I'm not giving it to this boy. Yeah, you can do it. Now, the, but now we're going to see in the Gemara that if, if he says, I'm gifting it to the other brothers, it works. But he says, this son is not going to inherit me. You can't say that. He has not told you the right to inherit him. You want to take it away from him, so you have to gift it to somebody else. That's a will. That's a will. A will is a gift. A will is a gift. It's a redivision of the property, not a peer show. But if a person says after that, yeah, exactly how it works, we're going to get to. But if a person says, I want to do Yerusha, Yerusha means the Yerusha of the Torah, and it's do it a different way, you can't do that, because the Torah tells you what the Yerusha is. So if you're using the lotion of Yerusha, that means Yerusha is what the Torah says Yerusha is. So it's the same way a person cannot say, one's going to bring an example right away. Everybody agrees. Why? It's not Kedushi. Now, can, can I have an agreement with a woman which is not? Yeah, but it's not Kedushi. Kedushi is there's certain parameters what Kedushi is. The Torah also gives you a certain parameters what Yerusha is. Yerusha is, father dies, and then the chassim is split, double to the, for the brother, and, some, and the shooting will all get equal him. So if he says not like that, he can't do it. Now, now the next part of the Mishnah goes to the case of a regular will. If you don't say Yerusha, I say stop, I'm going to come and divide the Nechosim after my death, so then my Pchor will take not double, like many people do today. And one son will take a little bit less, and one son will take a little more. You can do that. Just don't call Yerusha. That's the Mishnah right away. That's the Mishnah right away. Yerusha is certain parameters where Yerusha is. That's, how That's a gift after the death. Yes. But the minute he dies, the Yerusha, quote unquote, Yerusha of the Torah should be. No, so it. that's the, 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 the idea that a, a uh, either is sick or not sick, you can person could do a Kenyan for what he did do after Misa. That's the simple. If he's, even the Shechimah, I don't have to do a Kenyan maybe. But if a Bori, what do you do? You do a Kenyan, and that Kenyan is Chal after Misa. My kidney is the once I die, this is how the split is going to happen. In other words, if that's what he writes in his will. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Not as Yerusha. Right? He says, I'm not doing Yerusha. He's saying, I'm not doing Yerusha. He says, Yerusha doesn't work. If he did say Yerusha, but then he added the words Matana, within beginning, middle, or end, even though there's another words of Yerusha, it's fine. As long as you mention in that will that it's a Matana, Good to go. Okay. The monetary conditions against the Torah you could do. How do we see that? Kitatani. I'm really sure when Kodesh is going to chain lock, a lie shakes as well. You know, President says, I'm going to marry you, marry a woman, but I have a condition. I'm not going to be responsible for share, which is food, Xus, which is clothing, the I know, which is the relations. I raise him in Kudesh with no bottle, Diver and Mir. Kedush is Chal. Tanai's bottle. Why is Tanai's bottle? Matra Mashkos of a toy. You want to do a Tanai and you against the toy. One second. Shayak Suzoin. We do a Imer, but do a Shil Mohammed, no Kayo. He says, No. Oh, you know, I agree. But Shayak Suzoin, you can do it because my mom and I can condition it. So what do you see over here? You see that what? You have you the old. You could do condition in moments. Why by Yerush, you can't do it. It's a very big difference. There, the other party agrees. You know why a moment they could do it? Because they agree with two parties. Between two parties. 
the husband gives Aisha the Kedush. She says, I'm going to do Kedush with you, but I have one Kedush. I'm not giving you any clothing. And she accepts. So he says, Doma Shema and Dorakai. But here, who said the son accepts? The father writes, You're not going to get a Yerusha. Even though he's not maybe screaming, because he doesn't want to upset his father. He doesn't never, he never accept it. Omar Yerusif. Omar. So you said something? No? Says the Mohammed Omar Yerusif. Omar Ish ploy ni bni bichoyri hu noito pishtai. First it says, This son is my poor. My poor. Takes double. We're going to learn later that a father has a power to recognize the Bukhar because it's called Yakir. Yakir teaches you the Bukhar takes double. Ish plenty Bukhar who, he says, this son is a Bukhar. He doesn't say my Bukhar. Ain't no tip each time. He doesn't take double. Why? Do a Bukhadi Mukhar. Maybe it means it's the first born to his mother, not the first born to the father. What happens to the first born to the mother? He's called the Shakyuno. Petarech. But not using a double. Who the host of the Rabbi Baruchan? Someone came for the Rabbi Baruchan. Oh, Muzan Kari Mizay should be chor. I know he's a chor. Only we know that. How do you know he's a chor? Now the Karu Le Abu Abu Chor Sichlo used to call him the fool, the chor, the the fool, the foolish chor. The foolish chor. See, he's a chor. He says, "Do you believe chor the imu?" Maybe he means to say not foolish. It means not a regular chor. It's only chor the imu. They call bruchah the imu and I bruchah see the Karu Le. Um. So the, 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 right, because it, anytime you have a poor deem, it's called Bukhur Shatyo. Why Bukhur Shatyo? Because the reason it's called Bukhur Shatyo is because it's like a, it, the, the Rajbam brings an example, like we had just down Sukkot. So there's something called Hadas Shaita. What's Hadas Shaita? Not a good Hadas. Not because it's full. It's not the one which is appropriate. It's not the right part. So it means it's a poor meme, but it doesn't mean a poor meme. So I know this guy is a poor. That's how you know. When he came in front of the father, go to my son, Shechiras. He's a poor. His saliva heals. The poor has a special, unique trait that his saliva is as the healing powers. He uses it. When we deal with Bukhadimu, he was a poor mother. Kemiri Bukhadaba, Masi Roike Bukhadimu, or Masi Kayak. The saliva, the healing power of the saliva comes only from a poor of a father, not a poor of a mother. The father got cut. So immediately the father said, I know, someone was coming and said, I know this guy's a poor. Why? Whenever they get to the father for asking for medicine, he said, Go, 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 my son, ask him for some saliva. So you see the father held, he's a poor mother. Because of course, me, but the son is not healed. But oh, you see from here that if father held, there's a poor ma'abo, you have yakir or the poor ma'abo. And this is one really important thing for the next sugya that the father is the power, the father is the only one who has the power. Maybe there's a yulet, there's, there's other concepts, but in general, the father has the power to designate, to recognize the son, yakir. As before yakir, he recognizes, if he says, father says, this is my son, the son gets up. So I go my boy said, stop over here, read the shukatir from here.